Okay, let's look at Space Invaders for the Amiga. Um, again, on my PlayStation Classic using Retro Boot. Um, on the older builds of Retro Arch slash Retro Boot, um, the Amiga emulation can be pretty tricky. Um, I have briefly played with the current stuff. And it's a lot easier. It, it's just that I've got this stick already set up with everything on it, so I haven't switched. Um, a lot of the stuff that I'm doing here may not pertain to the newer versions. I don't know, but you know, even if you have this, you can still, once it's running, it's the same. It's just the configuration is a little bit more involved <clears throat> with this, so. So how this works um, with PUAE on some of the installations of it, you need to actually configure, um, and you'll see here, it's a .uae file. This is actually a text, like an INI file, that tells the emulator how to load um, the floppy disk image. Um, I'm not going to get into WHD load and a lot of the other stuff. I To stay on topic, I'm just going to show you know, a Space Invaders game on this core on my PlayStation Classic. Um, if anyone, there are a lot of people on, on YouTube already doing like Amiberry and stuff anyway, so I'm just checking this off my list. Still impressive that you can run this many different systems. So, I, uh, I don't remember ever seeing this. This is kind of a neat version. Um, the controls are kind of jumpy, but neat sound, neat graphics. Love the scrolling background. Kind of arcade-ish. Looks like it has a few more columns of bad guys, maybe. Not sure, but pretty neat. Uh, you know, compared to like the ST version, you can see it's got a lot more stuff going on. The, the Amiga just had a lot more horsepower for graphics. I think I think it's roughly comparable to like a Sega Genesis. The Genesis might be a little bit more powerful because it was released later, but you know, same more role of CPU, dedicated graphic co-processing processor chips, etc. Um, Amiga was way ahead of its time. Um, and like I said on my other video. I got rid of my 520 ST and got an Amiga <laughs> once I figured out that I had made a mistake in how much better the Amiga was than the Atari. You know, and then I really found what really <laughs> I found interesting was, you know, I had read a lot about J Minor and a lot of the engineers at Atari and just how much work they put into, you know, coming up with their hardware solutions and how poorly treated they were by Atari. Um, and come to find out that J Minor was one of the geniuses behind the original Amiga platform. So, you know, I, I kind of had made an emotional purchase of my Atari ST for sentimental reasons because it was Atari, when actually it wasn't even created by the same company or, you know, the same people. The Amiga was. So the Amiga is actually the true replacement for the Atari 8-bit platform. You know, not that it matters in the scheme of things, but I just thought it was interesting. You know, oh, I, I'm an Atari guy, you know, Ford versus Chevy. But what I'm buying was actually a Chevy that had been relabeled as a Ford, you know, that kind of thing. Bad analogy, but still. Come on. Weird. Okay, so... This would have been fun back in the day. I, I could see myself buying this. That was weird. You know, those of us that didn't have a lot of money 
an Amiga 500 was a lot cheaper than a PC. Um, I mean, I guess I could have gotten one of those cheap old Radio Shack clones, but um, definitely cheaper than a Mac. You know, I was able to do word processing on it. I could run a terminal emulator. I could do VT100 over my 1200 baud screaming fast modem to the school's VAX computer network. You know. edit all my uh, programming assignments. And, you know, game occasionally. I actually think I played my Nintendo more than I played my Amiga just because, you know, you got people over, you can kick back on the couch and, you know, two controllers and the games were more fun. You know, graph, graphics and everything aren't everything. You know, I, I think a lot of the Nintendo games were just a lot more fun to play than the Amiga games. So, I, you know, I started to kind of fade out of, you know, that kind of game. More fun to play Mario Brothers on the NES. Okay. Well, there you go.